Hey guys, it's Tony from the Portage Posse. And today we're gonna tell you about an awesome day back in July when I ran the West Fork Tug. All right guys, it's Tony here from the Portage Posse. I just woke up, it is currently 7.23 in the morning and I'm headed to go shred some gnar on the West Fork Tug with my good buddy Matt. Should be a good day, it's a PFD. It's a PFD that Jerry doesn't have, which makes it extra cool. So out of everyone in the group, I'll be the first one to run it. And uh, I'm pretty, pretty excited. Schoolium here is my co-pilot for the day. And uh, as you can tell, he's flipped in for a good mood. And so am I. Psych, I'm not heading there right away. Guess who forgot their spray skirt at the campground. So good thing I remembered now, not later. Now we're good. Let's do it. Arrive at your destination. Arrived. Once I arrived, I ran into some good friends who were going to be running the river with us, and we started what was ultimately a pretty brutal hike. Whew. I'm not a big hiker, uh, especially not when I'm hiking with gear. Maybe I'm just not in the shape I need to be. Once the hike was over, we got down and we saw an amazingly large crowd who were just looking forward to seeing the river release. This is kind of a big spectacle for the area and many people were trying to get as good of a sight as they were gonna get. Once you're in the water, you're pretty much in the first rapid and you have to be ready to make the first move. While I was making this move, my GoPro decided to have a malfunction and turned off. After I caught the first eddy on the river right, I decided to go out and pour to the second half of the first rapid. A little cruddy, GoPro turned off, but uh, I ended up pouring the, the, the next part. It looked a little, a little too baller shot collar for the, uh, the first moment of the day. After we put back in, we had the ability just to take in the sights that was this really remote feeling run. There's a lot of wood and it kind of creates this awe-inspiring like feel to it that is just makes you think that you're in the middle of nowhere. We couldn't sightsee for too long though, because before we knew it, we were at flight simulator. Left, right, five feet off the right bank. Flight simulator is no joke. There's a good chance that if you do this wrong, you could injure yourself, but I was confident that I would be good. It's almost time to fly. Right, Matt? vomit today so that's a good sign all my boobs have been good and uh this river is super tight i loved it i love big steven i love everybody in this crew today oh no. old steve oh i'm sorry that's old steven big steven right there <laughs> oh man it's beautiful out here once the hype wore off it was time to hit the river again and enjoy the wonderland that is this river
after a while, it was time to get a little serious again because we were gonna be at the Crux. The Crux is a rapid known for its carnage. We weren't really sure exactly what Eddie to catch, but we knew that there was an Eddie that we needed to catch right before it if we wanted to give good beta and get set up. It's gonna be coming up on a thing. I try to catch the Eddie, but I end up getting kicked right. That's all I thought about. Yeah, so we just ran the crux blind. Uh, we didn't really know, kind of got a little discombobulated in a big group. So uh, we we're, we're kind of fucking sent it. So it was pretty sick though. As I uh, finished waiting for everybody to run the crux, I just kind of want to talk about like just the river right now, man. The river has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, like it's Booth City, it's Creek City. Like there's so much beauty in this river now as far as hazards go there has been a lot of trees down we've had to boof a bunch of logs nothing too crazy though um so it's it's been good just a phenomenal run i think this is what true kayaking feels like at least for me this is the highlight of my week and probably next week as well so it doesn't get much better than this i hope jerry and them are having fun today uh but me i'm living the dream right now it's absolutely phenomenal all that was left to do was have fun and enjoy the rest of the run. The rapids, even after the crux, are still really enjoyable. It was full of laughs, good times, and seeing a lot of friends I hadn't seen in a while. Seeing all these friends there really gave me the confidence that I was making a lot of improvement and I was getting to where I wanted to be skill-wise. That day has been a major impact on the level of confidence that I have on getting on runs that are a little bit tougher. I like it. It was awesome. It was good. It's also opened up a lot of opportunities for me to run other things and for that, I'll always be grateful for the West Fork Tuck. It was a good run. We crushed it, smooth lines. And they beat me on lines. Sure. Oh no, he's just saying that because he's nice. And that guys was my day on the West Fork Tuck. We'll see you around.